Hi everyone, for this video on color highlight, I'll be going over M. Graham's version of Ultramarine Violet. The ultramarine violet that I'm using is made with PV15, which is the original ultramarine violet pigment, and PV29, which is ultramarine blue. And from its appearance, it is a very bluish color. I would say it is a blue and not a violet, and it looks really close to the additive primary color blue. And one thing to note is that this type of blue is also available in Schwinka's line and Windsor & Newton's but Windsor & Newton doesn't indicate the PB29 in theirs. So while I have this shade of ultramarine violet, which is a really nice blue color, the other versions of PV15 look more like dioxazine purple or a magenta color, sort of like manganese violet. And those are made by heating up ultramarine blue with a specific pigment, depending on if you want the violet shade or the magenta leaning shade. Like with other colors in my videos, I am also going to do a quick dispersion test for ultramarine violet. So when I put the paint on the paper, it doesn't disperse too far out, even when I add a decent amount of paint to it. So before I mix ultramarine violet with other colors, I'd like to compare it to French ultramarine and dioxazine purple. And compared to the French ultramarine, the ultramarine violet is more purple leaning or closer to additive primary blue. And also it is less saturated. So the next thing I'm doing is swatching dioxazine purple next to ultramarine violet. And typically ultramarine violet looks something like dioxazine purple, but granulates. And we can also see that ultramarine violet does look like a granulating color in between those two hues of French ultramarine and dioxazine purple. So the next thing I'll do is mix my ultramarine violet with six different colors, lemon yellow, quinacridone red light, potter's pink, quinacridone magenta, cobalt teal, and ivory black. So the first color I'll be mixing with is lemon yellow or Hansi yellow light. And as this shade of ultramarine violet is close to the additive primary color blue, it should be close to complementary to lemon yellow as the additive blue and yellow are complementary to each other. And as I mix these colors together, I start with a bluish gray and then I get these really neutralized olives. And eventually I get a color close to black, 
So I would recommend this color if you want to neutralize your yellows. So the next color I'll be mixing with is quinacridone red light, which is PR207. And when I mix these two colors together, we get these nice muted purple and magenta tones. And this is because quinacridone red light is close to red on the color wheel, and red doesn't reflect much blue light, giving us these nice muted purple and magenta tones. So the next color I'll be mixing with is one of my favorites, more specifically Potter's Pink. And as we mix these two colors together, we can see these soft, dusty lavender tones. The next color I'll be mixing with is quinacridone magenta, which is one of the two commonly used magentas in a CMY triad. And when I mix these two colors together, we get these really bright purple colors, and this is because blue and magenta are pretty close to purple, so they end up mixing really bright purples. The next color I'll be mixing with is Cobalt Teal, or PB28. And from the mixtures that we see, we get these nice, soft, granulating, delicate blue hues. So the final color I'll be mixing with is Ivory Black or PBK9. And when I mix these two colors together, we get these really nice, deep, dark indigo colors, I would say. So here are the final mixes with Ultramarine Violet. I really like the mixes overall, and I think it works really well as a secondary blue where it neutralizes yellow, it mixes bright purples with magenta, and it mixes also these really nice soft blues and purples with Cobalt Teal and Potter's Pink, respectively. So overall, I really like M. Graham's version of Ultramarine Violet. It has a really nice blue hue, and it also neutralizes yellows pretty well, which is something that's really hard to find for most paint brands. And one more thing I'd like to do before I finish off is to let you know in the description below, I have a link to my Etsy shop where you can buy different digital prints. And... I hope you found this video helpful and I am curious to hear what your opinions are on this shade of ultramarine violet.